Hey guys, welcome back to another show. I'm your host, Roxy. We're here with the wonderful and talented Frank Campanella. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you. I love coming here and love showing you guys these beautiful new we styles. We love you here because you bring us new styles. <laughs> and I'm excited to talk about this one. Yes. What yes. are you going to show me today? Yes. So I'm showing you guys today and I'm showing you too. Okay. <laughs> one of the new styles that's in the Gabor Designer Series collection. This is our second installment of styles that we're doing for 2023. Mm. And this particular style that we're looking at is called Dress Me Up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I was like to say, dress me up, but then take me out. Yes. Right? Don't just Always. dress me up. <laughs> An expensive take me out. Yes, yeah. indeed. Right? Okay. So the color we're showing this in today is the GF um, 4460 SS. And this is our shaded sugared licorice color. Okay? So this is a salt and pepper color with some striations like of really sterling gray. And it's just a lovely kind of so current gray beautiful. color. Tell us about this root. Yeah, so we've Talk added a root to this color. So let me show you this in a little more detail. So what we did was we created a little more drama, a little bit more dimension within this gray. And so we added some depth at the root. So you see that? It's got a little bit more of a trendy, kind of fashion forward appeal to it yeah. by adding that. Yeah, you know? totally. And so as it is the designer series, we figured we would you know, bring this color out into the new age. And so that's what you have here. So for those of you who are concerned about a root, if you're not really keen on a root, trust me when I tell you it's just subtle enough that really no one will really clock it. You no, know? no. It just looks like a shade. Yeah. A shade of like a darker shade, just a tad right there to give it that contrast, that depth. Yes. The drama. The drama, right? <laughs> so it's a beautiful color. Don't be shy. Try it out. I'm going to show you guys the cap construction on Dress Me Up. And so you're going to notice that we did an extended lace front on this. So the lace front goes from ear tab to ear tab. So that allows you to wear it back off your face if you so desire. And then we added a mono part. And one of the things we did with this mono part is we extended it all the way around yeah. the back of the wig, okay? So it's mono plus, right? Yeah. And this little C shape, or we call it like a golf club pattern, what this does is it reduces the volume in through the crown so that it has a more natural parting and also gives you a little bit more freedom with the parting in the back as well. So where the okay. wig splits looks more natural. Again, our personal fit cap, yep. which we have our velvet ear tabs and our velvet nape, and then the hook and loop adjusters at the back, which you can see I've tightened down because, mm -hmm. <laughs> because our little Roxy over here happens to have a little more petite head, so yes. I tightened it down. And that's the beauty of this, is even though these are average caps, right? Yeah, I can you make can it still, work. Yeah, you can make it work, because you can tighten it down or you can open them up. So if you are in the larger head size category, you can open these up and you can even trim them off. I know a lot of people who are just, yeah, you know, on a large head cap. size, I'm trimming them off. Yeah. But the personal fit cap, Stretch that also. stretch. Yeah. So that just forms straight to the size of your head. Yes. And wow. Well, nice. So while it's an average size, there's a lot of flexibility in it. And yeah. I think that is, that's the beauty of it, right? This curl pattern is my favorite. Yes. I like to try and attempt this on my own bio hair. It never works. It's hard. It's, it's hard. very hard, especially with a straightening iron. I don't know how to do that. Yes. It's and really it, difficult it for is. one person. Well, you know what, too, Roxy? The thing is, when you get like just a soft, subtle wave like yeah. this on bio hair, it falls out really easily too. Oh yeah, too. within seconds, yeah. especially here in Texas. Oh, I'm sure, anywhere with humidity, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So you don't have to worry about that with these because this fiber will hold its shape. It's not human hair. So right? even in the rain, guys, Yeah, <laughs> exactly. you're good to go. You can walk out in the rain and that curl pattern will not budge. Not at all. Not at all. It does not respond to humidity. Nope. I mean, there are benefits, right, to human hair wigs and there's benefits to synthetic wigs. Absolutely. One of the benefits of the synthetic wig is that it just holds its style and holds its shape. Now, I'm just going to rake through it really quick, Roxy, because I just have to. So I shook this out a little bit and we put it just like next to us on our mannequin. Really very little styling required, oh okay? So it. I'm going to miss you with a little bit of water, which I tell you is a great way to work through your wig, to kind of wake it up a little bit, especially on the curlier oh, yeah, ones. Yeah, I see. And one of the things that I think really sets this style apart is you have this wave in through here, but to keep it a little more edgy, make it a little more modern, what we did was we flat ironed these bits at the end, right? So you have that edgier shape. So it's a little more, cute, yeah. you know, contemporary, oh, yeah. I think, you know? I love it. Take a look at that back, you guys. Yep. It just moves and you have this, yeah. it's almost like a, this is a true lob, right? Yeah, Because it is. all of the lengths you'll notice like have a lob effect. They come straight to the back. There's not a lot of layering in through here. So you have the wave texture, 
but it is truly like you just got like this really blunt lock yep. cut and it just falls like that. So you have that thickness and then at you the got bottom. A blowout and then they curled it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and all of that. Stuff you don't have to do. You just put on this wig and you are out the door. Exactly. And what I love about so this, cute. you know, we were talking about before the extended lace, right? Yeah. So if Roxy, you wanted to, or any of you wanted to, you can actually just clip oh, this up, that. you know, and get it off of your face. So if you're at the office or you're out running errands and, you know, you like this style, you can clip it up so it's not, you know, in your way. But then when you're going to be a little more relaxed and you're going to be, you know, maybe out for the evening and, you know, you're not going to be running errands, no. let it loose, let it fall, and then you can play with it. It's got a very flirty uh, appeal it's to it. so cute. Yeah, I think I, it's a... I remember earlier you were like, I don't think the gray. But yeah. now we've we've become, we love it. No, yeah, we it's grown on it. us a lot. I was really nervous because we pulled out and said, oh, don't we have another color for you, Roxy? And then, well, we didn't, but I I'm think it's it. stunning, I haven't actually. taken it off. I know. I I it's multidimensional. So for any of you who are in the process of going gray, and maybe you don't want to wait for your hair to grow out, and you're in this salt and pepper like phase now... This is a great way to transition. Just, Absolutely. you know, with a wig gets you through a lot of hair crises, doesn't it? And it's so <laughs> subtle. It definitely does. It's so subtle, too. It's not really, really gray. Yeah. It just has those tones of gray with a little bit of a highlight right there that brightens you up. Yeah. And, you know, as we were saying before, because this is a heat-friendly fiber, yes. once you get this home, if you think, oh, maybe the wave pattern is a little too much for me, yeah. you can just take a flat iron, and even a really low heat, and smooth it out. Or a round brush, if you just want to, like, round brush the ends a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. That's so a good idea. there are some benefits of the heat-friendly fiber. We're hoping that you just get it home and put it on, I and you're just it. loving it, and you don't have to do any work to it. So... I'm obsessed with it. This is called <laughs> Dress Me Up, you guys. Let us know in the comments what you think, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.